Hi, this is Piyush Bhargava and this short video is about imaging recurrence of prostate cancer after radical prostatectomy. So when we look at the current ACR appropriateness criteria for prostate cancer follow-up post-radical prostatectomy when there is clin clinical concern for residual or recurrent disease, the imaging procedures that are considered usually appropriate include C11 choline PET-CT, MRI of the pelvis with and without contrast, and F18 flucyclovine PET-CT. When doing the MRI of the pelvis for this indication, we acquire T2-weighted images in three planes to look for a hyperintense focus, usually at the site of anastomosis, the vesicourethral anastomosis. We acquire DWI and ADC images to look for restricted diffusion in recurrent cancer, and we acquire contrast enhanced images to look for focal early enhancement in the recurrent cancer. We acquire T1 weighted images of the entire pelvis to evaluate for bone metastases and the lymph nodes. Here's an example of a recurrent prostate cancer on axial T2 weighted image. We see this abnormal focus also in the sagittal T2 weighted image, it shows contrast enhancement and it shows high signal on DWI images, all consistent with prostate cancer recurrence at the site of anastomosis. C11 choline PET CT was the first approved imaging procedure for this indication. C11, the positron image. Our emitter has a half-life of 20 minutes. The mechanism of uptake of this radiopharmaceutical is phosphatidylcholine synthesis due to increased choline kinase activity. Patients are injected with 10 to 15 millicuries of this tracer IV. We wait for about five minutes and acquire whole body PET-CT images. Physiologic uptake is seen in the liver, spleen, kidneys, pancreas, and the salivary glands as seen on this normal or negative study on the left. False positive findings can be seen with thymomas, renal cell carcinoma, colon cancer, mesothelioma, lung cancer, parathyroid adenoma, carcinoids, and meningiomas. False negative findings can be seen with liver meds. F18 flucyclovine PET-CT can also be performed for this indication. F18, the positron emitter, has a half-life of 110 minutes. Mechanism of uptake of this radiopharmaceutical is amino acid transport due to overexpression of transporter proteins. The dose is 10 millicuries that is injected IV and after waiting for five minutes, we acquire whole body PET-CT images. There is physiologic uptake seen in the pancreas, liver, bone marrow, skeletal muscle, and the kidneys. False positives can be seen with BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia, prostatitis, degenerative changes in the bones, meningiomas, and other cancers. False negative findings can be seen with sclerotic bone mets and liver mets. Gallium 68 PSMA PET-CT has recently been approved by FDA for this indication. Gallium-68 has a half-life of 68 minutes. The mechanism of uptake of this radiopharmaceutical is binding to extracellular domain of PSMA, which is a transmembrane glycoprotein overexpressed by prostate cancer cells. The dose of the pharmaceutical is 5 to 10 millicuries, and the uptake period is about 60 minutes. Physiologic distribution of this tracer is seen in the lacrimal glands, parotids and submandibular salivary glands, kidneys, liver, and spleen. False positives can be seen with meningiomas, thyroid nodules, degenerative changes, fractures, Paget's disease of the bone, renal cell carcinoma, lung cancer, brain cancer, and liver cancer. False negatives can be seen with PSMA negative prostate cancer. So 10% of the times prostate cancers can be PSMA negative. And in that situation, gallium-68 PSMA PET-CT would not be helpful. We can combine PET and MR in one scan in a PET MRI scanner where we can do multi-parametric MRI of the prostate, 
combining T2-weighted imaging, DWI, and contrast enhancement, along with a whole body PET, especially with an agent such as gallium-68 PSMA. And this may become the gold standard for imaging prostate cancer recurrence. If you want more information, here's a recently published review in AJR from June 2020. Here are two summary figures from this review paper. On the left, we have the performance of different PET agents. And here we can see that with gallium-68 PSMA, even when the PSA is less than 1.0, the scan is positive more than 50% of the times versus F18 flucyclovine, where it's positive in slightly less than 40% of the times. And the worst performance is with C11 choline, where only 20% of the times the scan is positive and the PSA is less than 1.0. With a higher PSA, they all do better as we can see in these graphs. On the right, there is a flow chart when there is biochemical recurrence, post prostatectomy, post prostatectomy, which means PSA is more than or equal to 0.2 nanograms per ml two times. Then we go through this process of risk analysis, looking at how long ago was their surgery, what was the Gleason score if the margins were positive, and the staging of the tumor at the time of surgery. When patients are at low risk for metastatic disease, they may undergo just a multi-parametric MRI um, of the prostate. When they are at high risk for metastatic disease, the center where I used, I was trained, would do a multi-parametric MRI of the prostate and also a whole body PET CT. And we want to image these patients using these modalities so that we can put them in three different categories if they have a negative study with no imaging evidence of recurrence or metastatic disease that they can be followed up clinically. PSA and imaging can be repeated or they can be considered for radiation therapy. If there is local or pelvic recurrence, then they can undergo salvage treatment. If they have metastatic or extra pelvic disease, then they definitely need systemic treatment. Now, all of this can be avoided if the patient goes through a gallium-68 PSMA PET MRI, where we do a multi-parametric MRI to look at the pelvis closely local recurrence, nodes, bone lesions, and we do a whole body PET CT or PET, whole body PET using gallium-68 PSMA and stage the whole body. Here is a slide showing normal distribution of the different tracers, C11 choline, F18, flucyclovine, gallium-68 PSMA, and as they compare to F18 FDG. Thanks for watching.